Olinto de Preto, the forgotten pioneer behind Einstein's theory. Have you ever wondered if history has hidden stories that could change the way we see the world? Imagine a discovery so profound that it could alter our understanding of the universe, yet the person behind it remains largely unknown. This is the intriguing tale of Olinto de Preto, an Italian engineer and physicist who, on November 23, 1903, presented an essay that some believe laid the groundwork for one of the most famous equations in history. Did de Preto's work inspire Albert Einstein's theory of relativity, or is his story a mere footnote in the annals of science? Join us as we unravel this captivating mystery, exploring how a forgotten figure might have contributed to humanity's greatest leaps in understanding the cosmos. Let's embark on a journey back to a time when the universe was envisioned as a stage filled with an invisible, all-pervading substance known as the luminiferous ether, or simply ether. This isn't the ether used as an anesthetic, but a theoretical medium proposed to carry light waves, much like air carries sound waves. Our story begins long before November 23, 1903, the date Olinto de Preto presented his groundbreaking essay. But that date serves as a crucial marker in our understanding of how humanity's perception of the universe evolved. The concept of the ether wasn't born in the 19th century. Its roots trace back to ancient Greece, where philosophers like Aristotle considered it the fifth element, the quintessence that filled the celestial spheres. However, it was in the 17th century that the idea of the ether took on a new significance in the realm of physics. Scientists grappling with the nature of light, particularly Christian Huygens, proposed that light traveled as waves, and these waves required a medium to propagate. Enter the luminiferous ether, a hypothetical substance that permeated all of space, even the vacuum providing the necessary medium for light's journey. This idea gained traction throughout the 1800s, especially after James Clerk Maxwell's work showed that light was a form of electromagnetic wave. Maxwell's equations beautifully unified electricity, magnetism, and light, but they seem to imply the existence of this mysterious ether. Think of it like ripples in a pond. The water is the medium that allows the ripples to travel. Similarly, the ether was thought to be the medium that allowed light waves to traverse the vast emptiness of space. However, the ether presented a conundrum. If it existed, it should interact with matter moving through it. Imagine running your hand through water. You feel resistance. Scientists reasoned that the Earth hurtling through space should experience an ether wind as it plowed through this all-pervading substance. Detecting this ether wind became a scientific quest, and the most famous attempt was the Michelson-Morley experiment in 1887. This meticulously designed experiment aimed to measure the difference in the speed of light in different directions as the Earth moved through the ether. The result was shocking, no difference was detected. It was as if the Earth wasn't moving through anything at all. This null result threw the scientific community into a state of confusion. How could light travel as a wave without a medium? Various theories were proposed to explain the Michelson-Morley result, including the idea that the Earth dragged the ether along with it, but these explanations felt contrived and lacked compelling evidence. At the turn of the 20th century, the world was a place of wonder and rapid change. Technological advancements were revolutionizing daily life, and scientific discoveries were challenging long-held beliefs about the universe. In the midst of this intellectual ferment in the quiet town of Schio in northern Italy, Olinto de Preto immersed himself in scientific inquiries that would lead to an extraordinary hypothesis. De Preto was not a typical scientist ensconced in the halls of academia. He was a businessman and an industrialist, managing his family's silk manufacturing company. Yet, he had a fervent passion for physics and astronomy, dedicating his spare time to exploring the mysteries of the universe. On November 23, 1903, Preto presented an essay titled Hypothesis of the Ether in the Life of the Universe to the Royal Veneto Institute of Sciences, Letters and Arts. In this work, he delved into the concept of the ether, a substance then thought to fill all space and be the medium through which light waves traveled. While the existence of the ether has since been disproven, at the time, it was a central topic in physics. What made de Preto's essay remarkable was his bold proposition that matter could be converted into energy and that this energy was proportional to the mass of the matter. In simple terms, he suggested that within every object, no matter how small, there is a tremendous amount of energy waiting to be unleashed. 
This idea was revolutionary because it challenged the traditional understanding that matter and energy were entirely separate entities. To help everyone understand this concept, think of it like a piece of coal. Coal appears solid and inert, but when burned it releases heat and light, the energy stored within it. DePreto extended this idea to all matter, proposing that if you could somehow convert the entire mass of an object into energy, the amount of energy released would be enormous. DePreto's hypothesis didn't involve complex mathematical formulas or advanced physics jargon. Instead, he used straightforward language and logical reasoning to explain his ideas, making them accessible to anyone interested in the subject. His work was published in the scientific journal ATI of the Royal Veneto Institute, making it available to scholars and enthusiasts across Europe. Now, let's fast forward two years to 1905, a year often referred to as Albert Einstein's miracle year. Einstein, a young Swiss patent clerk with a brilliant mind, published four groundbreaking papers that would transform physics forever. Among these was his special theory of relativity, which included the now iconic equation. This equation elegantly expresses the relationship between energy, mass, and the speed of light, showing that energy and mass are interchangeable. Einstein's theory was revolutionary. It provided a new framework for understanding space, time, and how the universe operates at its most fundamental level. His work didn't just build on existing theories, it shattered them, introducing concepts that would pave the way for modern physics. But here's where the story takes an intriguing turn. Some Italian scholars and historians have suggested that Einstein might have been influenced by De Preto's earlier work. They point out that De Preto's essay was published and circulated in scientific circles that Einstein could have accessed. Moreover, the similarities between De Preto's ideas about mass and energy and Einstein's equation are striking. It is very likely that Augusto De Preto, another of Olinto's brothers, gave a copy of Olinto's article to his friend and co-worker Beniamino Besso, who lived in Rome. Michele Angelo was guest at his uncle's house when a university student in Rome. Michel Angelo Besso, who was a patent examiner in that same Swiss patent office, in which Einstein at that time was working too. Interestingly enough, in his great article exposing the theory of relativity, written in 1905, Einstein acknowledged the help of only one person, that is to say, Michel Angelo Besso. Einstein called Besso the best sounding board in Europe for scientific ideas. In Einstein's original paper on special relativity, he ended the paper by stating, In conclusion, let me note that my friend and colleague Michel Besso steadfastly stood by me in my work on the problem here discussed, and that I am indebted to him for many a valuable suggestion. Besso died in Geneva on the 15th of March 1955, aged 81. In a letter of condolence to the Besso family, dated from the 21st of March, Albert Einstein wrote, now he has again preceded me a little in parting from this strange world. This has no importance. For people like us who believe in physics, the separation between past, present and future has only the importance of an admittedly tenacious illusion. Einstein died one month and three days after his friend, on the 18th of April, 1955. Could it be that DePreto's hypothesis planted the seeds for Einstein's revolutionary theory or is this simply a case of two brilliant minds arriving at similar conclusions independently? To answer this question, we need to delve deeper into the historical context. At the time, the scientific community was ripe with discussions about the nature of matter and energy. The laws of thermodynamics were well established, and physicists were exploring the connections between heat, work, and energy. The idea that mass and energy might be related was not entirely unheard of, but no one had yet provided a definitive formula to describe this relationship. De Preto's work was significant because it ventured into this uncharted territory. However, his hypothesis was rooted in the concept of the ether and lacked the mathematical rigor that Einstein's theory possessed. Einstein, on the other hand, used advanced mathematics and a deep understanding of physics to derive his equation providing a solid theoretical foundation that could be tested and validated. There is no concrete evidence that Einstein was aware of De Preto's essay. Einstein did not mention De Preto in his papers or correspondence, and there are no records indicating that he had access to the Italian journal in which De Preto's work was published. Additionally, Einstein's development of the theory of relativity was the culmination of years of study and contemplation, influenced by the works of many physicists, such as 
Hendrik Lawrence and Henri Poincaré. However, the possibility remains intriguing. It raises important questions about how ideas spread and evolve within the scientific community. Even without direct contact, the atmosphere of intellectual exploration at the time could have allowed similar ideas to emerge independently in different places. Regardless of whether Einstein knew of Depretto's work, the Italian physicist's contributions highlight an essential aspect of scientific progress, the collaborative and cumulative nature of discovery. Depretto's hypothesis, though not widely recognized, represents a piece of the larger puzzle that scientists were trying to solve. His willingness to challenge conventional thinking and propose bold ideas exemplifies the spirit of innovation. Now, let's consider how this event contributes to the development of humanity. The concept that mass and energy are interchangeable has had profound implications for science and technology. It has led to advancements in nuclear energy, allowing us to harness the power of the atom for electricity and other applications. It has also deepened our understanding of astrophysical phenomena, such as how stars generate energy and the mechanisms behind supernovae and black holes. By exploring the relationship between mass and energy, scientists have been able to unlock secrets of the universe that were once thought inaccessible. This knowledge has not only expanded our intellectual horizons, but has also provided practical benefits that impact our daily lives. Returning to Depretto, his story serves as a reminder that significant contributions can come from unexpected places. He was not part of the scientific elite, yet he dared to think differently and share his ideas with the world. His work encourages us to remain curious, to question established beliefs, and to recognize that anyone can contribute to the advancement of knowledge. Moreover, his tale underscores the importance of acknowledging all those who play a role in scientific discoveries. History often remembers the most prominent figures, but behind every great breakthrough are countless individuals whose ideas and efforts pave the way. As we reflect on this fascinating episode, we might ask ourselves, how many other stories like Depretto's are waiting to be uncovered? What other contributions have been overlooked? And how might they change our understanding of history and science? The story of Olinto de Preto is a compelling chapter in the history of science. Whether or not his work directly influenced Albert Einstein, de Preto's essay represents a bold and innovative approach to understanding the universe. It challenges us to consider the broader context of scientific discovery and the many voices that contribute to our collective knowledge. His hypothesis about the interchangeability of mass and energy, presented in straightforward language accessible to all, mirrors the essence of scientific exploration, making complex ideas understandable and inspiring others to delve deeper. If this story has piqued your interest, there's a wealth of information waiting to be discovered. To learn more about Olinto de Preto, Albert Einstein, and the fascinating history of physics at the turn of the 20th century, be sure to check out the links in the description and the first pinned comment. There, you'll find books and resources that delve deeper into this captivating subject, offering further insights and perspectives. Thank you for joining me on this journey through history and science. If you found this narrative enlightening and engaging, don't forget to like this video, share it with others who might be intrigued, and subscribe to the channel for more stories that uncover the hidden gems of our past. Who knows what other mysteries await us just waiting to be brought to light?